I would like to reorganize the crew. Found who you needed? I must take my leave. So long. Eivor, Lakjun Skiviki. Off we go. No racing the sail here. Sing us a song. If you have a friend, one that's truly trusted, and wants good to grow of your friendship. Sail! Catch the wind! MOG slightly smiling face. MOG grinning face. Look there! Enemy camp, Babel!
Raise the sail here. Drop them off. Set the mast up. Got into you. <laughs> no, the witch. Suffering hard times, I see. Happening. Finier? Oh, no, not unless Halfton sent you. Let's pretend Halfton did send me. Then we pretend you're Finier, his steward of East Anglia. Right. How do you expect to find a king for this kingdom when this is the speed you work at? Uh, I found him already. And as soon as he's married, we'll plunk his ass down on that throne. Which man? Ugh. You know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with a backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who cannot keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all. Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the arse and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage. 
No army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham. He was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl. Made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. This way! Lead on! Good, my friend! I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together. Not a part. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. A king should be harsher in tone with those who disrupt his kingdom. I'm not yet king. So I'll listen to my people before deciding what tone to take. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I am not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and hamlets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Helfden's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well. And I am here to see that it does not happen again. Lately I've come to learn you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else if not a king should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me.
Slow down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. There is smoke ahead. That's Beatley. It could be the same yeah. men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. Thunder by. It makes my guts all wobbly with glee. I never knew you as a man given. Grant me strength! This is on such cowardice. That should be the last of these pig faced cowards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. Ruiz clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. 
if you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'll be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. A healthy seeming town. This Oswald has done well for himself. I'm sure others would work with us against them. Look there. Alone Dane. Can't trust that. Be kind, yeah? As Christ would command. Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Finir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Brode, and to my lovely bride-to-be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfdan commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that the is... The last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty ass. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruet's clan. But between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolfkist, or you'll find it freed of your face! So... Easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ear. My flaccid what? Please stop this. You heard me. That's it. Fairness no 
Oh, they she really... called us blessed! Limp, weak, soft. I'll be queen. Reminds of home! Those bygone days. Ah, to be so full of vigor again. This is not how we settle disputes in East Anglia. Calm yourselves. Stop, all of you. That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia's in the state it is. <sighs> you are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me, Don. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I'll find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. Clear the mess in the longhouse, and wake my brothers with the coldest water you can find. Eivor! Good to see you!
You are Oswald's powerful bride-to-be, Valdis. I'm not his. This marriage is to be an alliance, nothing more. Besides, the man can barely carry a sword or speak with conviction. <laughs> Oswald is many things, but a gifted leader he is not. Still, of everyone I have met here, he is the only one willing to be responsible for the place. I will leave you to your day. You can find Oswald by the docks. And watching the river calms him, apparently. Danes tore the heart out of this land. They'll be back to finish the job, mark me well. Shame all that Good morning. Up bright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the moo of a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, steward Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Finner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir, the hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That's flighting, Oswald. Using rhythm and rhyme to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Um, a glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. He's got the wit of a boa, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead, and your... Heads made of wood. Wood! Heads made of wood! Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail... Blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... Plague-ridden lesion. Oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame.
Go on, give some back. About his height this time. You claim you're a Dane, but your bloodline is stained. A wee dwarf must have ravished your mum in the rain! Ugh. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well-timed words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't mean that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> Too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finir would not be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on. This is... That said... I should not be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. The water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. Hello and welcome. Always good to pick up new stock for the shop. Emoji slightly smiling face. Emoji grinning face. This could be very useful. You have an eye for craftsmanship. You've made a great choice. You look stronger already. Seems like you're expecting trouble. All done. I have to go. See you soon. What's a rush, he said. Not over here, people, something weird.
You made it. <gasps> Done. You still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as a king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. I have never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're unarmed? Where's your resolve, Lord? Stop whining and attack me. We will forge a king out of you yet. Ah! Oh, was that too hard? It was a good strike. Keep going. Don't all back. You want me you felt to that fight? One. I'm still here. Hard to believe this won't be You expect the Danes to follow this poor belly? I'm... I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon. Come now! Inspire us, king! <laughs> you never be king at this rate. Is this the best East Anglia has to offer? Yes, and I'll... I'll prove it! Come on, fight! I'll do what I need to do. Finish this, Eivor! It pays me to watch! Eivor is the victor. But you've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. I will... I will not stay down! You fought bravely. Not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have. Even if you have to get dirty. Even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules. Not if you answer a challenge head-on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. We dress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attacked Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. Eivor, I expect your longship crew could help with this attack. No one has been willing to take a stand against Ruid's clan before. We're a kingdom of farmers and merchants. Even farmers and merchants can fight when led by the right person. I hope your faith in pig farmers is not misplaced, Abel. upon these ancient timbers, tarred for preservation, to mark my sacred symbol and pinpoint the source of their power. As I pray, the Lord sends through me the voice of a holy spirit. It reverberates with the finery of ancient language, and I am made anew. Were these timbers carried by the Nephilim? Barriers against invasions from afar? Please, Lord. Let this truth shineth upon me as bright as your word doth.
finish what I was saying. There is work to do, yes. We will rise to meet Ruid's clan. God will make certain of it. Neither will we. There may be prisoners here. Keep an eye out for them. If I see any, I will let you know. Well, Oswald, does the threat of death drive your blade further? Yeah, you fight! You fight well, Oswald. Does the threat of death drive your blade further? Whatever compels you, hang on to it!
Hi Leslie, I see you play AC my fav series. I hope we can become friends. Stragglers. do nicely find something there's a crate of hat silver here more than enough to make everyone happy we'll take it to the ship a hard one fight the first of many Oswald have you the will to keep it up This is my gift to the brothers. I have more than enough wealth in Elmham to widen their eyes, but this will be a symbol of my commitment to our fight. It's a good start. Take what riches you find to know the witch, then send for the brothers. I'll meet you there. You have my gratitude, friend. He quella goes! Go, go! 
You're gonna stream the whole game. I watch you stream almost every day. Possibly yes.
No battle dented Dane would ever follow this lump of lords into battle. I don't care how many shields he brings me. You mean to say you refuse my gifts, Broder? I don't have time for this. It's a generous offering, brother. You'd be a fool to turn your back. Refuse this and your shame will stain the name of your sons and their sons beyond. Stay out of this, wolf kissed. Take the gift. We have bigger problems. One of Ruid's men. Aye. Sniffing around the outer walls, looking for an easy way to slip a few dozen men inside. If there's one scout, there will be more. Something you might have learned if you kept him alive. I was passing water when he surprised me. It was either him or my plow sword. Where did you find this one? Just outside the Northwich walls, by the water's edge. They'll be looking for points of entry to sneak a herd of raiders through. Jesus. Find another scout. We'll question him. I'll look around. The rest of you stay here and out of sight. If I find anyone suspicious, I'll bring him here. Ruid scouts will be camped near their boats outside the city walls. One of them will talk.
I need your boat. Sorry. Pig farmer. You're awfully. Stay down, muckworm. I have some friends who would like to speak with you. Put me down! I tell you, I'm a cow farmer. Let me go, Dane. You said you were a pig farmer just moments ago. It, uh, <laughs> it's not beyond reason. I tend to many livestock. You are as Dane as I am. Save your breath, liar. Hello. Mid golden weather, a mountain way. Did Ruid send you to? Speak now and you may live to see tomorrow. Arger swine. That won't make you any friends here. A scolding like that is a mortal offense, boy. I killed the bastard. Don't give him time to act again. I'll ask once more. Why were you lurking around Norwich's walls? I came to pay my respects, Lord, to Oswald, the whimpering Saxon ergy of East Anglia. You have scolded this man twice with forbidden words. It's now watching right you from him. Europa. Lick my tongue hole. Here is the tongue I use for licking. How does it feel against your ass? 
When the braziers lit at Dunwich, Ruid and his men will rally. They mean to attack Northwich by its weakest wall. <laughs> you English Danes are soft as butter now. Ruid sends his blessing, lady. He'll Do see these you people again know. very soon. Only via text when I have time while playing the game, headset but no microphone. Okay, good continuation. That's enough to go on. Time to die. Yeah. That wasn't necessary. He insulted you before everyone gathered here. You should have struck him down yourself. I will not have blood spilt needlessly in my kingdom. This has to end. Alive, this man was a risk. Valdis, this man spoke as if he knew you. Ruid was my husband. Your husband? You're married already. I was. We've been apart for five summers. I never expected to see him here. And I never wanted to. East Anglia's prosperity depends on our safety and unity. With Ruid's clan stomping around, neither is possible. I must speak with him myself, man to man. There's no place for him in East Anglia. He must hear it from me. Right. I'll start looking for a new king tomorrow. It was good to know you, Lord. Ruid will eat your lungs for supper, Oswald. Steer clear of him. If I'm to be a worthy king, I must meet the man who bedevils us. I'll light the brazier at Donich and face him when he comes. You sure you want to do this? Meeting Ruid in the open comes with many risks. It's the only way. We must face him head on, and we cannot waver. Come, Oswald. We make for Dunwich. And of course, I will see the lot of you there as well. Else the songs of your cowardice will ring out over the generations. I'm sure you're heading to Dunwich any moment. We'll be there, Eivor. You don't speak for us, steward. Need I remind you, Wags, what Halftown will do with us if East Anglia falls into Ruid's hands?